Despite their recent away form, Mansfield still have eyes on automatic promotion. They travel to St James Park on the back of five matches on the road without a win, but took the lead on 20 minutes through CJ Hamilton, who took advantage of a defensive slip to round Christy Pym. That fragility in away matches reared its head pretty quickly, though, as Exeter were level within a minute. A good old-fashioned goal-mouth scramble finished off by Matt Jay, who stuck his head in where it hurts to force the ball over the line. But a third goal in a breathless 13-minute spell had the Stags back in front. Hamilton with his second of the match, his pace again far too hot for the Grecians' defence, and a confident finish past Pym made sure Mansfield would lead at the break. Early in the second half, Tyler Walker put the game beyond doubt and in some style. That's 22 goals in all competitions now for the striker on loan from Nottingham Forest. And surely that will have raised a spark of interest from Martin O'Neill. Having both got their names on the score sheet, Hamilton and Walker then combined to win a penalty. Craig Woodman with the foul on Walker. He took the spot kick and fired David Flitcroft's side to a first away win since mid-January. With five of their last six against bottom of the table sides, Mansfield just might have timed their run to perfection. They're a good team with a good manager and uh, we just didn't let them get about their business. We really got at them. The drive in the squad was brilliant, the commitment in the squad was brilliant and, and um, you know the, the result and the performance was, was outstanding. Some huge results there, guys. The top two feeling the win in third and fourth. Really impressive away wins against playoff teams. But good time, Daryl, to talk about your hometown team. You started your playing career as well with Mansfield. There's an intense pressure on them again to get out of this division. And as we've just seen, maybe just timing it exactly right. It certainly is. And, you know, it was important for Dave Flickcroft's team to, to bounce back from last week's defeat mm. to, to Crew 2-1. He's got the know-how. He got promoted with Berry a couple of seasons ago, doing a great job there. Expectations are high, but he, I think he'll get them there. CJ Hamilton and, and Tyler Walker, both in the League Two team of the year, getting it done today. George Grant uh, 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 missing. And, you know, there, there is the, you can have an underdog spurt, but when you start the season where everyone's saying, it's got to be this season, you've got enough, you've got to go up. That's what they've got to handle now. D different scenario altogether. Yeah, they're, they're the big team in the league. They're the biggest, probably one of the biggest budgets within the league. And, um, them two players, certainly with their pacing behind, you're going to have to be at the races to uh, to deal with them. 